For the first time ever, AI is literally being run in space. Not a concept, not a movie idea. It already happened. A startup launched a satellite with the same type of AI chip used to run models like ChatGPT, and they're actually processing data up there, in orbit. Why does this matter? Because on Earth, AI is starting to hit a wall. Data centers are eating insane amounts of electricity. They need massive cooling. They burn water. They overload power grids. Big tech companies are already scrambling for solutions. And space, weirdly, solves a lot of this. Up there, you have constant sunlight. No night, no weather. Solar power just works all the time. Cooling, space is basically a giant freezer. You don't need rivers or cooling towers. You just release heat into the void. And there's another huge advantage most people miss. Satellites collect massive amounts of data, but they can't send all of it back to Earth fast enough. So now instead of sending raw data down, they process it in space, in real time. That's not the future. That's already being tested. Now here's the important part. This doesn't mean data centers are disappearing tomorrow. And it doesn't mean everything moves to space next year. But it tells you something very clear. AI demand is exploding so fast that humanity is running out of ways to power it on Earth. So companies are looking everywhere, even orbit. And that should tell you one thing. AI is not a trend. It's not slowing down. And it's definitely not dying. Even if development magically stopped today, which it won't, companies would still spend the next 10 years building businesses on what already exists. The real risk is an AI taking over overnight. The real risk is being the person who ignored it, while everyone else learned how to use it, automate with it, and build with it. Because the people who understand AI won't just use tools. They'll design systems. They'll move faster. They'll replace entire workflows. They'll build things solo that used to need teams. And that gap, and it's already forming. So if you're waiting to see how this plays out, it already is. This is one of those moments you'll look back on and say, yeah, that was the shift. And the people who paid attention early, they didn't just survive it. They built the future with it.